In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Vineyard Virtues Cultivating a Fruitful Life in the Parable of the Vine and the Branches The Parable I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, Ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. John 15 1-8 A Reflection In the parable of the vine and the branches, Jesus uses the metaphor of a vineyard to illustrate the intimate connection between believers and himself. This parable is part of Jesus' discourse on the Last Supper, where he emphasizes the significance of abiding in him for spiritual vitality and fruitfulness. Jesus begins by declaring, I am the true vine, establishing himself as the source of life and sustenance for all believers. The Father, portrayed as the vine dresser, tends to the vineyard, ensuring its health and productivity. Each believer is represented as a branch, intimately connected to the vine, drawing life and nourishment from Christ. The parable introduces two crucial aspects, pruning and abiding. Pruning involves the removal of unfruitful branches to enhance the productivity of the vine. Likewise, God works in the lives of believers, removing anything that hinders spiritual growth and fruitfulness. Abiding, on the other hand, emphasizes the continual connection to Jesus. It is an invitation to remain steadfastly attached to Him, drawing strength and vitality for a fruitful life. The imagery of the vine and branches underscores the importance of dependence on Christ. Jesus declares, apart from me, you can do nothing. The fruitful life is only possible through a deep, abiding relationship with him. This connection leads to spiritual fruitfulness, demonstrating the transformative power of Christ's life within believers. The consequences of not abiding in Christ are starkly portrayed withering and separation from the source of life. However, for those who remain in Him, there is a promise of answered prayers and the glorification of the Father through bearing much fruit. As believers, we are called to cultivate vineyard virtues a life marked by continuous dependence on Christ, spiritual growth, and the production of fruits such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, Galatians 5 22-23. May the parable of the vine and the branches inspire us to abide deeply in Christ, allowing His life to flow through us, producing a bountiful harvest that glorifies the Father. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.